<laughs> smile would go a long way then. At the dentist, if you have a fear of going, don't let it stop you from enjoying a lifetime of good health. Hey, uh, Appleton Dentist, Dr. Pete Haley's Comet, Haley's I like Comet. to say it, Haley <laughs> is here, joins us to talk Good about morning. making 2015 the year to, to own your smile. Good oh, morning. How Good are morning. you? I'm Good doing to meet great. you, sir. Doing great. Nice Everybody's fired up about yeah. the Packers. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Smiles up here. It's a, fun day to, go. it's a fun day to have you on. We, we, exactly. brush, and, we brush and floss. <laughs> floss. Now, um, Dr. Pete, has dentistry advanced so that diagnosis and treatment are more comfortable these days? I mean, like we were talking about off camera, mm -hmm. it, it's not your father's dentist anymore. Yeah. And my dad was a dentist for 40 years, so I should know. It, it's changed so much much just with how we treat kids and the anesthetics and it's just it's it's a much better experience yeah. now well let's talk about why because there you know there have been advances in making treatment more comfortable Correct. you can either be awake or asleep right you yes. sometimes may need a sedative which is awesome and yeah. uh, we call it sedation dentistry mm -hmm. there's uh, several dentists in the area that are great at it the Wisconsin Dental Association has a list of folks but uh, the procedure is you take a pill about an hour before you get to the office. You're completely relaxed. Okay. We assess the patient, give them some more meds, and um, basically they have their best, most relaxed dental visit ever, no matter what needs okay. to be done. Even, uh, well, and t tell me about laughing gas. What's laughing gas? You, know, you hear <laughs> yes. that You hear yep. that phrase a lot. The happy gas. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there we go. Yes, yes. Um, so there's like some the, video of someone getting, it's yeah. very easy. Yeah, it's been around 100 years. You know, kids love it, the elephant mask, you know, oh. and it just relaxes them. Um, but, you know, in addition to the nitrous, again, we have so many new things, topical anesthetic, we numb you before we numb you, things like that, little okay. jelly on the tooth. Yes. It's just phenomenal. Anesthetic is new, laser hand pieces, uh, it's, it's a great, great opportunity to, to yeah. get dental care. Now, some people are afraid of the pain that yeah. may come afterwards. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's not uncommon to prescribe something, right, for right. people afterwards. So, that's another thing they should not fear. Typically, Tylenol and ibuprofen, though, really, okay. is, is what we've used. Again, with the sedation dentistry, the medicine has a muscle relaxer, a pain reliever, an amnesiac. Um, it, it, it's it's very more much more comfortable because the body isn't so stressed when you're having this dentistry mm. done. Yeah, that makes so sense. You don't does. have to write a lot of scripts anymore, which is excellent. Yeah, it and, is. And speaking of that, what can patients do to uh, reduce the inherent risk of even very low or, or taking any med medication? Um, simple things like you know we have sunglasses and headphones in the office okay. and take their mind off it. You know, mm -hmm. deep breaths, conscious sedation on your own. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, the nitrous oxide helps. Um, lots of different things to be I relaxed. I love the headphone suggestion. Yes. I had not heard that actually until yep. I read this script for today. Just something simple. Uh, yeah. You know, it takes the noise off. People don't like the dentist because it hurts or because it sounds bad or it smells bad or, or you know, and, and we've got little nuances to take that all away now. A little Vicks under your nose. A little Vicks <laughs> under your nose. <laughs> you know. A little smelling salt. You know. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about, you know, the best way to actually avoid the fear is to just ha practice, you know, the best oral health possible. So how do we own our smile this year? Again, this is your year, 2015. Yeah. If you're sitting there listening to this program, you've been looking in the mirror for, for months or years, and you think, you know, I really wish I could do something about my smile. Well, well, there's obvious things you can do, you know, starting by calling a dentist yeah. in the area and just see these new changes we've been talking about. But obviously, it's a health issue. This is the doorway to your body. Mm -hmm. So brushing and flossing and mm -hmm. rinsing and a good diet and, you know, smoking hurts. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. excessive alcohol hurts, excessive candy hurts, you know. Right. And so just staying healthy. Yep. All right. Well, some good recommendations. Dr. Pete, you're very fun. Thank you. Yes. So much for Thank you. I enjoyed fun it. Fun guy to go to. Awesome. You? There right. you go. For more information, uh, head to the WDA. They've got a quarterly newsletter called Tongue and Cheek, uh, WDA.org slash your oral health or mouthhealthy.org. All great places to get good information. Dr. Pete, thanks so much. All right. Awesome. Go good pack. To see go. You. That's thanks, right. Thanks, Dr. Go Ellie. All right. Appreciate it. Hey,